Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And remember, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, as usual, what we will do is we will divide the topics here a little, makes it easier to understand and you normally get a little bit more out of it. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of May for the sign of Scorpio. These are general readings, they may not resonate with all of you, but that's how it goes, right? So let's look at the overall energy before we do it, before we then go into your emotional core, see what needs to heal and before we go into the opportunities afterwards, when I talk about healing, the guides say, show them your mug, which is really weird. That's the mug they're talking about. With this beautiful dragon. Now, dragons, right? Um, there's a lot that, that you can learn when you actually look deeper into dragons. But ultimately, what they are known for, or used to be known for, you know, before they were sort of, made into Hollywood icons, <clears throat> so to speak, is that they are the protectors of the sea and of the ocean and of the waters. So they are water spirits. So therefore, when this comes up with your emotions, and we haven't even gone there, <laughs> it's understanding this will likely be a month for you to release a lot of old stagnant energy. Right? Thanks for interfering, guys. I wasn't even done with the introduction. So, whoop, and then after we look at you into in your emotional core, we will go into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of May for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpios, are you ready? Let's have a look at the overall energy for the months of May. So, you have interesting energy here with regards to the months of May for Scorpio. You have what is called the wise leader in infinite abundance. So, in other words, while you are some sort of a beacon to others a lot, which means you show your strengths, people respond to it. There's two sides to you as a scorpion. You have a really, really strong fight or flight response built in as the sign of Scorpio. And in order for you to, to be fully fulfilled, right? Um, so abundance is coming in for you strongly, even though we're talking about the overall energy here, not about opportunities in the May of months, but in order for you to, to be and feel in abundance, and abundance is not always financial, um, you have to show people boundaries this month. Really, really important. Show them some boundaries, right? Tell them that you need time to really recharge and be in the present and be present, and therefore you can't deal with anybody else's shit all the time. Right? <clears throat> Quite interesting, because it's when, when, when the reading starts off with, with you being the wise leader, that's also a way of them saying, pay attention to who you truly are, because unfortunately, in your energy, with regards to who the sign of Scorpio is, um, there is a part of you that, that can self-sabotage yourself quite easily. Once you kind of go like, I'm not sure about this, I might, but I better not do it, if that makes sense. That is something that Scorpios unfortunately have. You can at times really, <clears throat> well, uh, shoot yourself in the foot and don't explore stuff that otherwise might have worked. Okay, so <clears throat> that was your overall energy for the month of May for the sign of Scorpio. You are watching Thomas' Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Let's look into your emotional core. And the guides have already hinted with the dragon here. Oh, he's so cute. With the dragon here. No. <clears throat> that there has to be release. And because it is the water dragon, this will be done through tears. In Native American law, tears are sacred medicine. And what you have, <laughs> which is very much about tears, is um, be in the flow of things. And I just mentioned earlier that the, the the dragons are water spirits and you have everything is smooth sailing as a, as a, as a word, right? Um, but when you are looking at 
<coughs> it flowing. That's what water does best. And so they ask you to be really loose in your approach to healing from stuff, in your approach to um, reflecting on any, on, on, on any intimate relationship, attracting new relationships, right? Be in your strengths, right? And I also get a weird thing. It's not weird, it's just the way the guys talk today. For Scorpios, they're asking you to pay attention to your body language. Are you like, hello, nice to meet you? Or are you overly, hey, or are you just yourself, right? At all times, just be yourself. Really, really important. The other thing I'm getting for Scorpios this month is to understand that all the imprints your stars give you are in your hands. And while this isn't a reading about palmistry, <clears throat> In order for you to connect to the energy of where you come from, because we come from the stars, <coughs> with regards to love, what they're showing me is understanding. This has to do with body language, which is very old. You know, back in the day, people would just assess you differently. You know, really back in the day. Um, show your hands, right? Have no. Don't be uh, afraid of being a bit animated. Maybe not quite as animated as I am, right? But but th this is the way they show it to me. Show your hands, have an open, loose body language, right? I'm going into dancing here because I quite like that. Right? So loosen up with regards to um, letting things go because you had water quite a bit. Water means releasing, water means renewal. Um, tears are sacred medicine. Use being open-minded and being loose to let the healing that needs to happen start and or continue. Right? So, let's look into your um, opportunities as to present themselves to you in the months of May for the sign of Scorpio. Right. Not much going on. <coughs> mm. Again, doesn't sound right either. What they're asking you is to, to stay focused on what it is you want, rather than focus on, 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 on whatever situation you're in. This is about what, what sustains you financially. So, rather than focusing on, oh, this is crap, blah, 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 um, which is just something that lowers your energy, if you can just go like, you know what, I just stay focused on what it is I want, where do I wish to go, and then shift the energy from the stuff you really don't like, maybe that's where your work isn't quite you, you're right, Fitch, um, and then um, hold the course, if that makes sense, let me just, you're right, boy, let me just show you, hello, hey, Fitch, it's like, Kids, you never look in the camera when you want them to. But they're asking you to... Oh, UK boy. To hold the course. Keep believing in what it is you really want to do and what would or will ful fulfill you, if that makes sense. So what I'm getting strongly with regards to opportunities is for you to understand if wherever I am right now, if, if whatever I'm doing is not working, maybe... If you like the field you're working in, maybe it's time you put some work in and get a bigger toolbox. If it is not who you truly are, now it is time to say, rather than thinking, oh shit, right, um, is to really say, like, okay, this is not me, so I am finding what is me and this is what I'm focusing on. This is all about understanding focus and manifestation. Manifestation does not work well with low energy. The moment you are frustrated, um, the energy that could come back to you is a frustrated kind of energy, right? Which is why it's so important um, that they said to you earlier, just loosen up, right? And then, you know, while this was about your emotions, why don't you just take it into everything, right? I like this. I think I have to listen to some 90s techno when I'm done here. <laughs> right. <clears throat> anyway, Scorpios, that's all I got. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and share. Share. Ciao. Ciao. And then I see you all next month. Bye-bye.